Hey guys, Devin here to show you how we grew these quick fire hot peppers and what you need to grow them to. Make sure to comment on what you think we should grow next and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. First, you'll need your seeds, of course. Procyon 2.0 Grow Light. We're using the 17 inch version today. A digital timer, a 14 inch bloom planter self watering, two part master blend nutrients, cocoa core, and vermiculite, a 50 50 mix. After mixing your growing medium, fill up your pot. And then we're gonna do the nutrients according to the package. We make three holes about an inch deep and place one seed in each. You wanna cover it back up with your growing medium. Not all the seeds will germinate usually, so we just keep the healthiest looking one in here so it has plenty of room to grow. The first time you water, you want to really soak the soil over and around your seed to help it germinate. And then from there on out, we just keep the reservoir full. Pepper seeds tend to take a little longer to germinate than some other plants, so don't get discouraged if you don't see anything peeking through in the first week and a half or so. We encourage you to get creative when hanging your light. Here's a few options that we like. We like to use tomato cages. They're super easy to move around or disassemble for storage. Baker's racks provide a lot of growing space without taking up too much room in your home. We do sell these PVC stands on our website, but they're super easy to make yourself. I'll link the dimensions below. Set your timer to run for 16 hours every day. With our 17 inch light, that equals about four cents a day on your electricity bill. Place the container under your grow light, keeping a distance of 10 to 12 inches, and add water to the reservoir as needed. Now over to Vic for the harvest. This is Vic from Happy Leaf and today is May 1st and we are going to harvest some hot peppers that are part of the All-American selection of seeds that we, uh, we planted. And uh, this is called a quick fire hybrid hot pepper. And uh, as you can see, there's quite a few peppers on here that are ready to be harvested. <clears throat> I've got a good friend that enjoys hot peppers and I told him I'd get him some so he could try them. Uh, this was planted in a 14 inch um, bloom pot with coconut core and vermiculite in it. And uh, the seed was planted directly into the pot. And uh, we used uh, master blend uh, nutrients for this grow. And it's been just under six months that we now have all these red peppers. I am curious to find out how many there are. There's actually quite a few green ones coming up yet. But what we're going to do is we're going to harvest the red ones. We're going to count them and see how many we have. If I were taking a wild guess, we're probably right around 20 hot peppers. So let me go ahead and harvest some and uh, see, see what we got. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So um, I've harvested. I my estimate was twenty, and we actually have nineteen peppers. And uh, they never get really big, but this is what they look like. They're supposed to be pretty hot. I don't think they're as hot as they can be. Uh, I harvested them using scissors mainly because I didn't want to twist the plant off. And I'd say there's probably going to be another twenty in the next uh, two or three weeks because I could see quite a few green ones still sort of inside there. And uh, we can give you an update on what uh, my friend thinks of these peppers since he's a pepper connoisseur. So check back with us and we'll give you more details. Thank you. You're not going to try one? A little no, too hot I tried one yesterday. Oh, did you? Actually, that would have been number 20 because I, I oh, tried yeah. it and I took a little bite and I said, no, it's not for me. <laughs>